Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a Zara try-on haul. I just did the try-on portion. I thought, why not knock the next part out too? Zara has a lot of cute stuff right now, like a lot of cute stuff. Sometimes you walk in there, you're like, uh, not too into this, not too into that. And then other times you walk in there and then you're like, I think I'm gonna spend thousands and thousands of dollars today. This was one of those times, especially because Zara has become one of those stores that say, you can't try anything on because we have to keep everything sanitary, so you have to buy it. And don't worry, you have 30 days to bring it back. Um, obviously that makes you want to keep it even more. I think that that's a genius way to go about things. So let's hop right into it. So the first piece of clothing I wanna talk about is this gorgeous bodysuit. Seriously, this color, hello summertime. I love it so much. The material is nice and it feels, I don't know if it's cooling, like it actually might be a little bit warm, but it's thick enough that maybe those of you who are blessed wouldn't have to wear a bra with it. Uh, most of us probably have to wear a bra with it. I think that they kind of did this like side boob, low arm thing, which I'm not too crazy about, but if you pick it up high enough, it won't show any of the side boob, which I'm, I'm not risking that whole situation. I love the color of this. I think you could dress it up and dress it down. Like if you wore this with maybe some leather leggings that had a zip up situation. I paired it with this Abercrombie pair of jeans. I've been loving Abercrombie jeans lately. I will link those below um, as well, but seriously, how gorgeous is this color? It retails for 19 bucks and I got this in a size medium. Next item is this cobalt blue midi dress. This also came in red and I probably stood there for about a half an hour, which is why my parking was so expensive. Deciding if I was gonna get the red or the blue. And I'm just such a red person that I kind of wanted to like, get out of my comfort zone and uh, get the blue one. The problem is, is, is this fancy or do you wear this casual? Like it's not fancy enough to wear to a fancy wedding, but it's also not casual enough to me that like I'd wear it on the reg. So maybe if you have like a special vacation coming up and you want to get something special for it, this would be a great choice. Like if you're going on like a honeymoon in Hawaii, I feel like this would be great. It was a little bit loose up top for me just because my hips are a lot wider than my chest. But other than that, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful dress. The next dress I got is this casual midi dress with a high neck. I thought this was so perfect for every day in the summer when you're like, oh, I'm so lazy, it's so hot, what should I wear? This midi dress. They had it in a bunch of different colors and they had this beautiful periwinkle purpley blue that I really wanted, but they didn't have my size. Seriously, what's up with Zara? They never have your size. But um, it retails for $17.90 and I just thought it was an easy dress for like errands. And I guess you could dress it up if you wanted to do like a leather jacket and some booties. That'd be a cute little dinner, summertime dinner outfit. So love this and it was, it was on the cheaper side. Okay, I just changed outfits so I could talk about what I was wearing. Uh, next up is this tank top that is inside out. Uh, it's a plain white tank, except it has a twist. It has this metal V that has a little bit of a little plunge to it. I thought that was really cute. The thing that's a little bit weird about this, it's between like a traditional crop top and a full length t-shirt. I think if you were shorter, it actually might be Full length. No, it, it's definitely on the, the crop side, but it's longer than your average crop top, I would say. Really cute, practical for summertime. Oh, and it retailed for, I actually thought it was $12, but then when I was trying things on, it turned out to be $17.90. Hmm, not sure how I feel about that, but I got it in a size small. That white tank in the try-on, I paired it with these green joggers, which are so out of my comfort zone, but I thought that they were really cute for summertime, and there are these like, really airy breezy linen material um which keeps you nice and cool but they were a little bit tight in the hip for me like it fit okay but like i don't know when you walk i could feel like these would just like tighten up in the hip and it's not very flattering i think so i wish i got in a size large um these retail for 39.90 and i got them in a size medium again like i don't know i do have wide hips though so i guess that makes sense but Really cute, just doesn't fit super great for me. Next up are these cute professional looking sailor pants. That's what I'll call them. It has this really cute gold button detailing. And I just thought that they were really cute for summertime because they seem like they're on the cooler side and it's hard to look professional while staying cool. The issue I had with these is I don't think that they were really flattering for my body. I wish that they came in sizes that were numbered rather than small, medium, and large so that they had a zipper on them. These kind of have that um, stretchy, 
thing in the back and they flared at the hips so I just didn't think that they were super flattering on my body type but overall it's a really cute professional trendy looking pair of pants. Next up is this white tank top that was just a little bit more upscale than your average tank top. The material is just a little bit more chic than a regular ribbed tank top. It is in a nylon nylon blend which sounds extremely cheap so it's not great quality but it seems like it would be great quality i think this would look really cute in an all white outfit um with like maybe a camel or tan chanel bag and like uh, some gorgeous heels now i'm just fantasizing but you catch my drift i think this would look really great with an all white chic outfit in summertime next up is this cute pink dress i thought that this was like super springy and happy but it gave me when i tried it on i was like this is giving me slight pajama vibes i don't know if it's like the wrinkling or whatever but i felt like i was a little bit a little bit in a nightgown maybe if i steamed it and i put it with some like heels or something it would change up the vibe but so far i feel like I'm in pajamas. And lastly, we all love a good pair of joggers. These are like, the material of these are a jogger for summertime. Why do I keep talking about summertime, honestly? But like, that's the season that we're in. It's just like the material isn't super thick and suffocating. I feel like if you wanna do a morning Starbucks run, these joggers are it for that. Um, they retail for $35.90. Don't know what I was thinking, but uh, maybe I just thought I needed a pair of joggers to wear to Starbucks in summertime because I love the material of these. I got these in a size large, I think. Oh no, I actually got them a size medium, but they feel a little bit on the bigger side. Like I like my joggers to be slightly fitted. So I might go back and exchange these for a small, but I think that these joggers are clutch because we all love joggers and <laughs> We need to continue to wear them. All right, you guys, now that I'm sweating again, that is it for my Zara haul. Wow, I got a lot of exchanging, returning, all that good stuff to do. But overall, Zara's got a lot of good stuff right now. Have you guys gotten anything lately from Zara? What do you think of this whole annoying buy before you try it thing? Cause like, it's making the line extra long. Do you know what I mean? Thanks you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.